I'm Matthew Katz. I'm a pancreatic surgeon at MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston. My current trial that I'm running uh, through the Alliance for Clinical Trials in Oncology is um, for patients with advanced pancreatic cancer. And it's using chemotherapy and potentially radiation therapy in anticipation for surgery to follow. And that's, um, these are patients that historically have not undergone operations, have historically have been viewed as unresectable. Uh, and so this entire paradigm of treating them up front and then potentially operating them on them down the road is um, one, it, it's an approach that has been used over the past couple of decades to some degree, to some small degree, but I think in part because of the research that, that, we're, that my team is doing, um, it's becoming a lot more um, um, widespread and a lot better accepted. I'm a clinical researcher. Uh, which I think makes it perhaps a little easier than it might if I was a basic science researcher or, 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 or something of that nature. Um, so a lot of the research I do uh, really goes hand in hand with my clinical practice. So I do a lot of clinical trial work and what that means for me is that every additional patient I see in the clinic is another you know, study resource I have for, for, my, for my trials. So I think for clinical research in particular, it's not, um, it might not be as hard as, uh, as one might uh, expect, but it is still, you know, it's still a balancing act for sure um, to do all the writing and grant writing and all that stuff in your, in your, in your spare time. Absolutely. And it may not seem like it initially, but, you know, when you're on your 5,000th gallbladder or, you know, 1,000th Whipple or, you know, gastrectomy or whatever you do, vascular, you know, bypass, um, you can't, you, you want to you wanna improve and you want, to, um, uh, you want to add to what you've learned. You don't want to keep being stagnant. And the way to do that is to is to do do your own research. I mean, you can certainly read about read about things, but it's much more active and, and gratifying to to contribute yourself. And so, I think it should be a mandatory part of everyone's career to some degree. And again, there's something that's going to interest everyone. When you get your mind out of the out of the thought that all research is lab-based research, um, there's a whole world of, of of quality research that you can do that that would interest that would interest you. I think you just have to start and see if it's something you enjoy. I, I find it hard to believe that any medical student, someone who is interested in medicine, would not find some aspect of research that they would not find gratifying and enjoyable. It just, it just depends on finding what, what's the best fit for you. So when I was, when I was a, a resident, I did two years in the lab in addition to the clinical research that I was doing. And because, you know, when I was a resident, you were kind of programmed to everyone who did surgery should be doing, have a lab-based research uh, career as part, of their, as, part of their, as part of their career. And I quickly learned I hated that. And, you know, when you get out of the mindset that all research has to be done in the lab with pipetting and test tubes and so forth and start looking at all the other opportunities that, that exist, there's something for everyone, and I, I find it hard to believe that, that any medical student who was not given the right opportunities would not find something that, that, that would interest them. You've got to find a mentor, most important thing. Find someone you enjoy working with, who you look up to, who you respect. Latch on to that individual and start finding out more about what they do. And um, if, 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 if your interests jibe with, with that individual's interest, there'll be opportunities that, that come your way. And even if not, they can direct you to someone who may have interests that are more in line with yours. A lot of the things you'll do early on in your career are opportunities that are given to you, but you make, you make those opportunities by, by identifying the right, the right mentors and the right support system. And once you get those opportunities, then you make your more opportunities for yourself, and that's how you, that's how you grow a career.